Hey guys, this is Zan Merchant and today we will start with pre-release material for AS Summer 2019 So this is our task 1 Task 1 is for arrays So the introduction is candidates should be able to write programs to process array data both in pseudocode and in their chosen programming language it is suggested that each task is planned using pseudocode before writing it in a program code. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write the Python code for ta all the tasks in this pre-release material. And this video is for task 1.1. So task 1.1 says a 1D array of string data type. So a string data type will be used to store the name of each student in a class together with the email address as follows. So we have to take two inputs though. So first input is the student name and the other is the email address of the student and we have to uh, concatenate these strings together with a hashtag in between. So example for that format is as follows. So this is Eric Smythe, the hashtag Eric at the rate email dot com. So in within quotation marks this is a string that we need to create so it can be saved in the array in the bundy array so the program code steps are given so we have to follow all these steps this the first step is to declare the array then we have to prompt and input name and email address so we have to take two inputs then form the string as above so our, so what we have going to do is we're going to concatenate these two strings together the email address and the input name write the string to the next array element so whichever value it is if it's the first value we have to save this in the first array element then the second value will go into the second index third fourth fifth and so on so we have to repeat from step two for all students in the class so we first need to know how many students are there in the class so we can create the 1D array accordingly and we have and then we have to take all the inputs for all the students in class output each element of the array in a suitable format the suitable format is given here together with explanatory text such as column headings so we have to output these values the concatenated values need to be sorted first we have to uh, we have to uh, disjoint them and then we have to print or output these values accordingly. So we have to write name. Name is going to be Eric Smythe for this example. And then we have to output email. And then we have to show the email address for, uh, for, the, for our example, this is eric at the rate mail.com, email.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to um, the IDE. The IDE that I'm going to use is um, Pythonista, sorry, PyCharm. Pythonista is for the iPad. PyCharm is my ID that I'm going to use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file, a new Python file. This is going to be called 1.1. And let me just comment on what I'm going to, what I'm writing, PRM, task. 1.1 so this is a python code by me okay so i'm going to leave some space and then fill out the values i'm uh, sorry uh the variables that i'm going to use so first is going to be total students in class so i'm going to take input from the user that how many students are there in the class so this input needs to be an integer input so in, int input and then i'm going to ask enter total students in class so the user will input uh, all this total number of students in class and that's going to be converted into integer as i've written here and then it's going to be saved in total students variable after that i'm going to create the 1d array called students how do we create this 1d array we write the name of the array and then create a square bracket and then we 
put in an initializing value this the initializing value for my array is going to be a blank string why is it going to be a blank string because i do not know what i need to write instead of uh, when when there is no value so when there is no value i'm going to initialize this array with blank so for i in range sorry in range this is going to be total students that i received from the user so i i have used i uh, you could use any other variable as well so i is a standard variable that we use for for loops or any kind of loops and then after i've created this array and i know the total number uh, total number of students in class i'm going i'm going to create another for loop i in range so this is going to be a for loop that takes input from the user and then we have to concatenate this with a hashtag in between and then we have to store it in each index so this i here for the for loop will help me count the total number of students the, uh, the students that have entered so this is, needs to be go go from this needs to go from zero to total number of students so the first thing that i'm going to take input is the name let me ask the user enter name of the student and after this sorry Shit. so after this i have to take input variable email enter sorry enter email of that student so first we take the name of the student then we take the email of the students and then wh what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a record so this record needs to save name plus hashtag in between and then again plus email so this is basically this plus is used in python for concatenation so name then I, i'm going to join this hashtag with the name the string which is stored in the variable name and then i'm going to join the string that's saved in email together and that's all going to be saved in record variable and i'm going to store the value of record variable in the array on for which we have counted from this for loop so whatever the value for i is on that particular index the student for for the students array this record is going to be saved so firstly obviously we know that for, uh, for loop in python starts from zero the first index is going to be zero so index zero students will save the first record then i will change to one and then is going to save the second record and then so on until total students we reach the number that we already have and then what i'm going to do is the second thing I, I need to do is i need to output each element of the array in a suitable format that's what the prm said so i'm again going to create a for loop for i in range total students because i already know the number of students that are in the class and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to save one value each value from the student array into the record again so so we are going to we are doing this in opposite direction so first what we did is we created a record and then stored that in students array now what i'm going to do is uh, we are just taking one value at a time from the array students and then saving that value in record uh, variable then what i need to do is i need to find the break index the index at which i need to break this a uh, record so this record will now have some name hash some email address so I, what i need to do is i need to find out at which index or which point i need to break this record so i can find this name so this one name from the record so for that we are going to use 
record dot find hash so what this record dot find does record is the variable that we saved the value in dot find find is a function which is used with strings which figures out the point at which the index at which this particular character or a substring is present so let me give you an example for this let me just make a new python file let me call this find test okay so let me create a string str is equals to my name is zen and save uh, this in index str dot find and what i'm going to do is i'm going to find where is is so is is going to be at value index l this is the m is at zero y is at one then sp the space is going to be two three four a is going to be four m is five e is six space is seven and then i will start with eight so this is going to be eight well, let me print this so sorry so you can see where we stand let me run this so this says eight so whatever substring is within this find function within the parentheses of this find function is going to return the index at which this substring starts within this main string so what if this substring is not present in this main string so this x is not present in this main string let, let me run this again and let's see what value does it return it returns negative one so if this function returns negative one it means that this substring was not present in the main string this particular function is going to be very helpful within throughout this pre-release material so let me just get back to the original uh, code so this is going to return back the position at which hashtag value starts okay so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to save name from the record i'm going to split this uh, record so record bracket colon break index so you do remember i hope you guys remember how to split a string so there are going to be two values the first value if there is not present it means the position at which at which we are going to start is going to be zero and this is our end position so the substring the splitting will end before this ending position so the va whatever the value this returns is going to the splitting is going to end before this end position next i'm going to save email from record and i'm going to start this from breakpoint plus one because we figured out where hashtag was and our new uh, and our email value is right next or right after this hashtag so from there till the end of the string so since we are not writing any value after the colon it means that this is going to go till the end of the string and lastly what we are going to do is we are going to print out this value with the help text to so the first value we are going to print is going to be name the next value we'll be printing is going to be the email okay now let's write down all the variables that we have used so total students and i is going to be in teacher values next students 
is 1D array of string and lastly name email and record and oh we forgot uh, break index is also going to be an integer value so break index let me write this here and record is going to be string okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this for you guys so you can see how it works total number of students in class let me uh, put in two so the first student class is going to be zen the email address is going to be zen at the redmail.com let me put in another name ali and ali's address is also ali at the redmail.com and what it has done is it has printed out both values name zen email zen at the redmail.com name is ali email is going to be ali at the redmail.com so this is the end for our task one.